Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today sit a while for we are playing some more franchise key manager 6 as part of the Ottawa Senators. So uh, we are at the start of February 2003 and at the start of February is usually where I look at contract extensions uh, for players whose contract is about to expire. So you can see on the screen here who I have made an offer to. So we're going to go with Matt Cullen, who's asking for a lot of money uh, for a second line center. Uh, Matt Cullen's asking for $2 million a year, but uh, <clears throat> I think he's pretty important on the team, even though he doesn't score a whole lot. Uh, wins a lots of face-off and all of that good stuff. So he's going to be back. Uh, Ryan Miller and Tim Thomas uh, are both coming back as well. Uh, they're going to be my goaltending tandem. Uh, I am bringing back Anton Volchenkov, Karel Rakunek, and Mike Fisher as well. Uh, of note that I am not bringing back, uh, we are talking about Andreas Dackel, Bill Guerin, and Mike Dunham. So those would be the three biggest names I am not bringing back. Mostly for money reasons. Uh, Bill Guerin's getting a little bit older. Uh, I know I made a big fuss about getting him when I did. And I'm happy I did, even though he... Uh, save, for, uh, save for last year, he, he didn't really produce all that much. So, anyway... So I'm letting him go. Uh, Mike Dunham doesn't really have room, and there's not really room in the crease for Mike Dunham anymore. And Andreas Dackel, uh, <clears throat> I can just replace him with uh, basically Mike Fisher at this point, or Chris Kelly, or something like that. So not overly worried about letting those players go. Uh, We've had some injuries in January. We so managed to stay the course and stay first in the in the Eastern Conference. So that's pretty good. So that's pretty much it. Uh, Thornton and Guerin might be back by the time I play the Rangers. Uh, that's in four days. So we have four days without games here. So let's get to it. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Um, to active roster. Who am I sending down? Chris Neal, probably. Yeah. Chris Neal or Chris Kelly? I'm going to send down Chris Neal. There we go. All right. So, Brett. Oh my God. Here's the issue with the players again, where they don't show completely. I have to fix it all the time now. It's getting a little annoying. So it looks like uh, that was the All Star break, probably, or something, because there's no teams playing. Uh, Eugene Melnick is still very unhappy with uh, my success. We had a uh, eight six and one record in January, so we didn't play all that great, but we did have quite a few injuries. Uh, all right, Patrick Roy extends with uh, Montreal. He signed a one year contract at three point two nine millions. He's thirty seven, four and a half stars still. So. Alright, so Cullen signs, Fisher signs, Ryan Miller signs, Volchenkov signs, Rakunek signs, Tim Thomas signs, everybody signs. And Eugene Melnick is going to be really, really, really mad now because I just gave people money. Oh, Yarko Rutu is available on waivers. Look at that. And Niklas Sundstrom is also available for waivers. Do I pick up Yarko Rutu? I don't think so. I, I never liked Yarko Rutu as a Sans. I know some Sans fans did. I didn't. All right. Uh, no. Joe Thornton is healthy, as is Bill Guerin. Awesome. All 
All right. Now, Colin White, the defenseman, is available. Kevin Aller and Milaslav Guren. Not picking any of those guys up. Oh, the Islanders signed Luongo to an extension. He's going to get 12.3 million over three years. So that's like, what, 4.1 million a year? Pretty good. Oh, he's, f he's five stars. Now he's done developing. He's... He's a beast already. Yeah, so Sean Hines and Ivan Majeski are available. Not picking those guys up either. Matthew Schneider has reached a thousand games played with Montreal. And he had a goal and an assist to celebrate. It was against the Trashers. Alright. And Chris Chelios signed a two-year extension with Chicago. He is 41 years old, still a five-star defenseman. Wow, I know Chelios played until he was like a million years old, but at one point, I mean, even though he was still playing, he wasn't a five-star caliber player anymore. He should be declining eventually, I would think. Maybe. Maybe not. All right, so we are playing at Madison Square Garden against the Rangers. The Rangers are 25, 23, and 7 for 7th spot in the East. We did play them once this year, and we lost 3-2. to two. It was at Madison Square Garden, so we are looking to avenge our loss. All right, so Tim Thomas is going to be in net for us. He's going to face Mike Richter. And we won 42. All right, we outshot the Rangers 37 to 20. Daniel Alfredson was the first star of this game. He had a goal and two assists. Oleg Cavasho was the second star for the Rangers. He had two assists. And Mike Selinger, a third star with a goal and an assist. <clears throat> All right, so nobody scored in the first. Then in the second period, Marion also opened up the scoring on the power play from Shara and Datuk. Then Daniel Alfredson scored from Sillinger and Avlid. And then Sillinger on the power play is fifth from Brian McCabe and Daniel Alfredson. Three nothing Suns after two. And then the Rangers came to within one. They scored twice in the third period. And then Matt Cullen sealed the deal in an empty net with three seconds to go in the game. Assisted by Alfredson and Sheldon Surrey. 4-2 was our final score. <clears throat> Mike Camilleri has a great game with the Kings. He had a hat-trick three goals against Phoenix. Camilleri is 20, and he's only a one-star player right now, but already a hat-trick from. All right, and we are playing the Flyers. So the Flyers are really good. They are 30, 17, and 5, riding the up goaltending of Jamie McLennan once again. Uh, we are in first place in the East, so we did play the Flyers twice. Uh, uh, three times, sorry, and we went 2-0-1 against them. We did get a tie in Philadelphia. So let's see if we can beat Jimmy McLennan in that one. Yeah, that's him in net. Six shutouts, 27 wins, a 9.25 save percentage. And we are sending in Ryan Miller in net, who has a sub-900 save percentage. That is not good. Oh, all right. We sent Jimmy McLennan to the showers. Uh, we torched them eight to one. We outshot Philly forty-nine to twenty-two. Marianosa was the first star of that game with a goal and three assists. Daniel Alfredson was the second star. He had three assists, and Mike Sellinger, third star with a goal and two assists. So the Flyers actually scored first. Uh, and then Mike Sanger tied the game from Bill Guerin and Patrick Eliash. And then we scored three times in the second period. We had Matt Cullen from Daniel Alfredson and Zdeno O'Shara. Nicholas Agman scored his first of the season from Marion Osa and Mike Sanger. Nicholas Avlid from Marion Osa and Patrick Eliash. It was 4-1.
Sands after two. Then we scored four more in the third. Patrick Elias scored his 20th on the power play from Osa and Thornton. Sharash scored shorthanded from Alfredson and Sheldon Surrey. Mohan Osa scored shorthanded as well from Alfredson and McCabe. And finally, Bill Guerin from Mike Salinger and Nicholas Hagman. 8 to 1 is your final score. <clears throat> and Bill Guerin is hurt again. Maybe hurt in his feelings that I am not bringing him back. He's able to play through the injury. That's okay. All right. Corey Schwab is available as a free agent, uh, as a waiver pickup, and I am not going to do that. No further punishment for Jay Pandolfo in Vancouver, not suspended. Jason Harnett has a memorable game against Calgary. He had three goals and two assists, participated to all the goals in the game in a 5 nothing win. No additional time missed for New York's Marty Murray. No suspension for Marty Murray. Good for him. And we are now playing against the Atlanta Trashers. The Trashers are not doing too hot. They are 18, 28, and 7. And they are 13th in the East. Uh, we faced them twice. Uh, and we won both games. An 8 to 1 win at home and a 42 win in Atlanta. We're playing them at home. And another 8 to 1 win would be pretty sweet. Would be pretty swell. Pessy Nerminen in net for Atlanta. We're going to go with some Thomas. And we won 7 2. So our team scored 15 goals in two games. That's pretty good. All right, we outshot them 59 to 20. Joe Thornton was the first star of that game. He had a goal and three assists. Zdeno Sharo was the second star with four assists. And Sheldon Surrey was the third star with two goals. There were 15,408 people in attendance for this game. So we took a 3 0 lead into the first period. Matt Cullen scored from Avlid and Derek Morris. Then Marion Osa scored his 20th on the power play from Zdeno Sharo and Joe Thornton. Then Joe Thornton scored his 20th as well from Zdeno Scher and Martin Avlet. 3 nothing after 1. Then Atlanta scored and then Sheldon Sorry scored his 10th from Daniel Alfredson and Zdeno Scher. 4-1 after 2. Then Patrick Eliash scored from Zdeno Scher and Joe Thornton. Then Sheldon Sorry from Pavel Datsyuk. It was 6-1, to one. then Atlanta scored, made it 6-2, and Martin Avlat scored from Matt Cullen and Joe Thornton. 7-2 is our final score. Prolific passing night for Zdeno Sharo, who had four assists. I know, I was there. It was pretty cool to see that big, tall guy get a bunch of points. All right, we are playing in three days against the Penguins. A night to remember for Joe Sakic, who had a hat-trick three goals against the Flames. Pretty good game. Eric Desjardins is the second Montreal defenseman this month to reach a thousand game played. 33 years old, Eric Desjardins, two and a half star player, and he had an assist to celebrate that. There was no stopping Valerie Bourré in that same game. He had four goals against Washington. Wilson unleashes Tyred against media during press conference. Atlanta Trashers head coach Doug Wilson was unhappy with his team or the local media. Pressured for answers to better understand this team's performance, Wilson let go of all reason in a profanity laced tirade to the media, his own team, and anyone within earshot. You know, it doesn't help the situation when you people are shoving microphones on our throats looking for answers. Well, this is your answer. I don't have one. We're doing all we can out there. Some players are pulling their weight, but others are not. 
They have enough pressure on their own, and then all of you don't make it any better. They just have to work out work out of it themselves. At that point, Wilson walked out of the press conference. Ha! <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we're playing Pittsburgh in two days. Good night for Rod Brennamore, who had a hat trick against the Wild. Pretty good. Vincent Anfou has achieved uh, 1,200 points in his career with an assist against Boston. Memorable night for Damon Lenko, who had a hat trick three goals against the Islanders. Damon Lenko, 26 years old, two star player. All right, we are playing Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh is pretty good. They are 30, 18, and 7. They are fourth in the East. We did play them once this year at home and we won 5 to 1. So let's see if we can beat them again. This time it's on the road, but still. So Tim Thomas in net for us and Trevor Kidd in net for Pittsburgh. And we won 6 to 2. Wow. 21 goals in three games for the Ottawa Senators. Pretty, pretty, pretty sweet. We outshot Pittsburgh 38 to 16. Sheldon Sorry was the first star. He had two goals and two assists. Zeleno Sharo was the second star with an assist, and Marion Osa was the third star with a goal and an assist. Uh, let's see here. We have Patrick Elias who scored on the power play from Pavel Detsuk and Joe Thornton. Joe Thornton from Andreas Dakel and Zeleno Sharo. And then Marian Osa scored shorthanded from Daniel Alfredson and Sheldon Surrey. It was 3 nothing in the first. Then Ron Francis scored and made it 3 to 1 after 1. And then no scoring in the second period. And then in the third, Nicholas Agman scored from Chris Kelly and Sheldon Surrey. Then uh, Scott Fraser scored for Pittsburgh, made it 4-2, and then Sheldon Sorry scored from Patrick Elias and Marian Osa, and Sheldon Sorry again from Matt Cullen made it 6-2, which was the way the game ended. Anton Volchenkov is hurt. No, not the A-train. Come on, man. You can't be hurt. For one to two weeks, huh? Now I have to call somebody up. Who am I going to call up? Who's playing well down here? Probably Sammy Salo, huh? Not that much. 13 points in 42 games in the minors. Wow. 17 points for Karel Retukunek. 19 for Andrew Hutchinson. 12 for Christoph Schubert. 13 for Vauclair. 11 for Brian Berard. I'm not bringing you back. Well, let's bring Andrew Hutchinson. He's the one with the better season so far. Let's reward the good play. It's only a... Uh, it's only for a handful of games. <clears throat> now we're going back home and playing the Oilers. No miss time for San Jose's Andrea Salomonson. No suspension. Uh, Francis Bouillon is back from suspension in Anaheim. Served, he, he paid his dues. Uh, Bill Guerin is not hurt anymore. The league has fined. Doug Wilson for what he did, and the fan loyalty has increased slightly out of that. Alright, and Hutchinson wants a number. He can have number two. There you go. Alright, we are playing the Edmonton Orders. The Orders are really good, actually. They are better than us. They are 35, 12, and 9 for one more point than us. 
Uh, and we did lose in Edmonton when we played there earlier. It was a 2-1 to loss for us. So let's see if we can get this thing going. You see Markkanen is going to be in net for Edmonton and we're going to, going to go to Ryan Metter. Haha, and it's a 2-1 to win this time. So the roles are reversed. We outshot them 37 to 22. Magnus Arvidsson was the first star of this game. He had an assist. Miroslav Shatan had an assist for Edmonton and was the second star. And Daniel Alfredson was the third star with a goal. We had 12,396 people in attendance. Marion Osa opened up the scoring in the second period from Derek Morris and Magnus Arvidsson. Then Daniel Alfredson scored in the third from Patrick Elias and Joe Thornton, made it 2 nothing sense uh, in the third. Then Sean Orkoff brought the orders back to within one, but it was too little too late, and the Sens are victors once again. And Marion Osa extends his goal streak to five games with that uh, one goal game here. So five straight games with a goal for Osa, that's pretty good. Hopefully he can continue that. Pavel Bure has achieved 500 assists in his career. Maybe more renowned for his speed and his goal scoring, but still, two assists for uh, Bure in that game <coughs> against, ooh, against Colorado. All right. We are going to be playing in Toronto. All right, so in Toronto, Toronto is 26, 24, and 7, and they are 10th in the East, fighting for a playoff spot with a handful of teams there. We are 2 0 against Toronto this year. We beat them 3 1 and 4 2. Let's see what happens here in Toronto. We are sending Tim Thomas. They are sending Jean-Sébastien Giguere. And we lost 2-1. So I guess we we were not meant to have a perfect month. It uh, ends here. First loss today, or in February, rather. Uh, we did outshot Toronto 45-25. to So Giguere stole the show. Uh, Thomas Caberly was the first star for Toronto. He had two assists. Daniel Alfredson was the second star with a goal. And Giguere was the third star with 44 saves. So the Marion Osa streak ended at five games. Daniel Alfredson scored first in the first period from Joe Thornton and Zedin Oshara. It was 1 0 Suns. And then Toronto scored twice. Sprinkled throughout the game and ran away with a 2-1 win against division leader Ottawa Senators. No additional missed time for Columbus Matthias Nordstrom. No suspension. Lots of people are being looked at but few suspensions so far. Mario Lemieux has scored 800 goals in his career. That's pretty amazing. He had a hat-trick too against New Jersey. Yeah, 37-year-old Mario Lemieux. Oh, he's not a five-star player anymore. He's starting to dip. Four and a half star player now. All right, we are about to host the New York Rangers, whom we've beat at the start of the video as the first game in February. This time we're going to play them at home. So the Rangers have slid a little bit now. They are 26, 27, and 8, and they are now 9th in the East. So we're 1-1 one one against the Rangers so far. So Mike Richter is going to be in net for the blue shirts and Tim Thomas is going to be in net for us. And we won 5-2, to two, back on track with a win. So we outshot the Rangers 42-16. to 16. Joe Thornton was the first star. He had a goal and two assists. Patrick Elias was the second star with a goal and two assists. Sheldon Surrey was the third star with a goal and an assist. Uh, 13,835 people in attendance. 
So the Rangers actually took a 2-0 lead into that game. So it was 2-0 Rangers about midway into the the first period. Then a little bit later, Joe Thornton scored on the power play from Patrick Eliash, made it 2-1. It was 2-1 Rangers after one. Then Martin Avlat tied the game up in the second from Mike Sillinger and Chris Kelly. So 2-2 two, two after 2. And then we scored 3 times in the third period. Patrick Eliash scored what would be the gold winner, uh, the game winner from Sheldon Sore and Joe Thornton. And then we scored 2 empty net goals. Sheldon Sore from Matt Cullen and Bill Guerin. And then Daniel Alfredson is 20th from Patrick Eliash and Joe Thornton. 5-2 was the final score. As you can see, Joe Thornton is racking up the points. That's good. Oh, Peter Schmerich in Washington is not suspended. Good for him. And we are about to play the New Jersey Devils. Ooh, that's gonna or that's gonna hurt Phoenix. So Tepo Numinen is hurt. He's gonna miss four months with a torn elbow ligament. So three-star player Tepo Numinen hurt for four months. That's pretty much the rest of the season. Alexey Zamnov has tallied 600 points in his career. He had an assist against Columbus in that same game. Niels Ekman in Carolina is suspended. He's going to miss two games. Martin Gelina has a memorable game. He had a hat-trick against the Hurricanes in that same game. And dynamic passing leads to products of night for Richard Madvichuk, who had four assists in that same game again. All right, we are about to play the Devils in New Jersey. Uh, the Devils are 28, 20, and 10, and they are seventh in the East. We have won all three games against the Devils so far this year. I bet they want to get this one. All right, we're gonna go to Ryan Miller for this one. And they are sending Brent Johnson here. So for a rare time, we are not facing Martin Brodeur. Oh, and we won 9 to 1. We outshot the Devils 52 to 9. Pa uh, Pavel Datsyuk was the first star of the game. He had two goals and two assists. Patrick Eliash was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Marianosa was the third star with two goals and an assist. So Andrew Hutchinson scored his first goal of the season from Matt Cullen and Magnus Arvidsson. Then Sheldon Sorry scored his 15th from Mike Sillinger and Zeleno Scherer. Made it 2 nothing sends after one. Then in the second, Marianosa scored from Pavel Datsuk and Andreas Dackel. 3 0 after two. And then after that, it was an avalanche of goals in the third period. Datsuk scored on the power play from Avlat and Eliash. McCabe scored from Guerin and Cullen. Pavel Datsuk from Marianosa and Sheldon Sorry. Marianosa from Andreas Dackel and Pavel Datsuk. It was at that point 7 0. Scott Niedermeyer scored on the power play with. A little less than two minutes to go in the game. It was 7-1. to one. Then we scored two more like it wasn't enough already. Patrick Eliash from Mike Fisher and Martin Avlat from Patrick Eliash and Derek Morris. 9-1 to one is the final score. And, oh, yeah, and it was uh, Claude Lemieux's 1,250th game. Not, a, not, a, not one he's going to want to remember. Thankfully for him, it's not one of the major milestones, like a thousand or something like that. <clears throat> now we're going to go back home to play against the Florida Panthers. Volchenkov is about to come back. All right, so we are getting ready to face the Panthers. Panthers are horrible this year. They are 16, 37, and 6. And that's good for last place in the East. We played them twice this year. We beat them both times. 
All right, John Van Beesbrook, the, the good old veteran in net for the Panthers. We are going to go to Tim Thomas. Oh, and we lost 5-3. to three. So we lost against the worst team in the East. Despite outshutting them 57-23. to 23. So Kenny Janssen was the first star. He had a goal and two assists. Martin Avlat was the second star with two assists. And Christian Uzilius for Florida was the third star with a goal and an assist. We had 15,708 people in attendance for that game. Derek Morris opened up the scoring on the power plate. It was his fifth from Patrick Eliash and Martin Avlat. Then the Panthers tied the game up before the end of the first. It was 1-1 one, one after 1. Then the Panthers scored twice in the second period, made it 3-1 Florida uh, going into the third. Then they scored twice ag again. It was 5-1 into the third. Then we scored twice. Uh, Marion Osa scored his 25th from Brian McCabe and Matt Cullen. And then Mike Fisher from Martin Avlet and Nicholas Agman. 5-3 was the final score for the Panthers. We did drop this one. Chris Phillips improves at right defense. Okay, buddy. All right, so now we are going to be playing Nashville here at home in a couple days. Oh, look at that. Antti Tormainen, who used to play for us, is on waivers. Not going to pick him up. Nor am I picking up Dennis Peterson. Sergei Fedorov extends his goal streak to five games. He had two goals against the Orders. It's going to make my girlfriend happy. It was... It was our favorite player when we were younger, obviously. League says no suspension for Sean Hill. Not suspended. By the way, our current favorite player is Brady Kachuk. God, she loves that guy. Uh, all right. Anton Volchenkov is about to be back. And... Dressing room prank may sideline Greg Zanon. Good thing I didn't keep him. Look at him doing stuff in Pittsburgh. Huh. Pittsburgh defenseman Greg Zanon may miss a week's worth of games due to a prank gone wrong. I don't think we've seen that one before. I thought it was uh, the shenanigans, but that's not. According to teammates, Brooks Orpik decided to try and give Zanon a fright by donning a mask and sneaking up on him in the shower. The prank worked. Unfortunately for the Penguins, it worked all too well. Zanon apparently was so startled by the intrusion that he instinctively flung his arm around to defend himself and unintentionally hit his head against the shower knob. Zanon sustained a bruise, Tom. Greg was surprisingly good-natured about the incident, said head coach Scotty Bowman. Nonetheless, he'll be out for the next few games, and that's going to hurt us. Bowman declined to say whether our pick would be disciplined for the prank, but says he does believe he is sincerely remorseful for what happened. I know Brooks feel worse about it than anyone, but I'll have to decide whether or not that's sufficient punishment. Yeah, uh, there's quotes missing there at the end. I don't think that Brooks Arpic would feel bad. I mean, he was kind of a dirty, sneaky, weaselly player that I never had much respect for. So, yeah. Uh, Sean Thornton is available on waivers. Not picking him up. Peter Retrick. Not picking him up. Brian Olsinger, huh? He's 30 now. One star player. Not picking him up. Nils Ekman in, Car in Carolina is back from suspension. Ooh, that's gonna hurt the Avalanche. They still have a good season, but Peter Forsberg is out for two months with a broken Hamath, Hamath bone in his wrist. Is that how it's pronounced? Hamath, Hamath. H A M A T E. There you go. Bone in his wrist. Two months rehab for Peter Forsberg. Four star player, 29 years old in Colorado. Of course. 
All right, we are about to play Nashville, whom we torched 7-1 to one when we did play in Nashville. Now we're going to play at home. Nashville is 18-36-5. They are not very good. All right, they are sending Ron Tugnut in net. We are going with Ryan Miller. And we won 3-1. <clears throat> We outshot Nashville 50 to 24. Matt Cullen was the first star of this game. He had a goal and an assist. David Leguan was the second star with an assist. And Bill Guerin, third star with two assists. Pavel Datsyuk opened up the scoring in the first on the power play from Matt Cullen and Bill Guerin. And then Dan Hamus scored in the, in the second period, made it 1 1. And then we scored twice in the third period. We had Joe Thornton score on the power play from Patrick Eliash and Martin Avlat, and Matt Cullen from Nicholas Avlid and Bill Guerin made it 3 1, which was the final score. Chris Kelly converts to left wing. Good for him. All right, and we are about to play the Minnesota Wild in three days. Oh, there's only two games left in February. Wow, that went fast. No additional missed time for Washington's... Uh, oh, Marty Yarventi in Washington. No suspension for you. Volchenkov is back after being out of the lineup due to an injury. So let's see. Three days that we have to wait to get Volchenkov back. He's going to be back in time to play Dallas. Uh, suspensions for Nashville's Scotty Upshaw. He's going to miss three games. Alright, so we are playing the Wild. It's actually going to be the first game of the season against the Wild. So we're going to take a look at their lineup. The Wild is 25, 29, and 7. So, not completely terrible, but that's definitely not good either. Uh, let's see. So they do have an injury. Uh, Jason York is not going to be playing this game. He's out with an injury. Uh, Patrick Lalim and Jose Theodore in net. That's pretty solid. So goaltending is not an issue in Minnesota. Then Steve Duchesne, Marcus Ragnarsson, Mike Ratchie, uh, Lubomir Sikorach, Darius Kasparaitis, Nick Schultz, Jason Smith, and Jason York on D. I think I've made that comment before, but man, that D is not very mobile. Uh, Mike Greer, Grant Marshall, Scott Pellerin, Vaclav Prospel, Jan Bulish, Bob Wren, Alexander Daig, Chris Drury, Joel Perpich, Eric Dazi, Marianne Gaborik, Marty McInnes, and Scott Young. So, familiar face, Alexander Daig. 10 points in 51 games. That's why you're not with us anymore. I predicted it. I wonder how I did that. Wink, wink. All right, playing the Wild at home. Jose Theodore in net for the Wild. We are going to Tim Thomas. And we won 3-2. We outshot the Wild 42-22. Uh... They actually open up the scoring in the first, and then Patrick Eliash scored his 25th from Andrew Hutchinson, and then Brian McCabe from Andreas Dackel and Marion Osso. It was 2 to 1 cents after 1. Forgot to say we had 12,960 people in attendance. And I think I forgot to say that, wow. Talk about having a blank. Well, if I said who the stars were, I'm sorry, I don't believe I did. So, Patrick Eliash was the first star with a golden and assist. Mike Reggie was the second star with a golden and assist. And Daniel Alfredson was the third star with a goal. 
wow, that I just had a moment where, you know, you're older in life and then you do something and then you, you're wondering, wait, what am I doing? So I had just one of those moments. If you're younger, you know, still in your 20s or something, enjoy it while it lasts because, yeah, that was embarrassing. All right, so 2-1 to one after 1. Then in the second period, Daniel Alfredson scored from Petrik Elias and Pavel Datsuk, made it 3-1 to one since after 2. Mike Kretschy scored in the third, made it 3-2, to two, but it was too little too late, and the Sens are victorious. Vincent Le Cavalier has a strong game. He had three goals and two assists for five points against Anaheim. Pretty good game. Four-star player now at age 22. Alright, and I believe... Today is the day that I can get Volchenkov back. It sure is. Yay! Thank you for your services, Hutchinson. I appreciate. Right, and we are going to be playing the last game of the month against the Dallas Stars, who are terrible, terrible, terrible. As we saw, I believe they... They got rid of personnel earlier in the season, or there were talks about that. I don't uh, quite remember, uh, but I do know that it showed up because they are 19, 38, and 6 for 44 points. So that's not very good. That being said, we did lose against them 4 to 3 when we did play in Dallas, so we are going to be looking to avenge that. Frédéric Cassivy is going to be in net playing against the team that drafted him. And Sam Thomas is going to be in net for us. And we won 7-5. So they gave us a run for our money there. So we outshot Dallas 54-20. Bill Guerin was the first star. He had a goal and an assist. Mike Modano was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Matt Cullen was the third star with a goal. 15,109 people in attendance in Ottawa for that one. Patrick Elias scored the first goal of the game from Joe Thornton and Daniel Alfredson. And then Dallas scored twice, so it was 2-1 Dallas after one. Then Andreas Dako scored his 10th from Mariano and Pavel Datsyuk. And then Anton Volchenkov from Andreas Dako and Nicholas Havlid. It was 3-2 Suns. Then Dallas tied the game up. It was 3-3. And then Matt Cullen scored his 10th from Bill Guerin, made it 4 3 cents after 2. And Dallas tied the game up at the start of the third period. Then we scored twice. Daniel Arfredson from Brian McCabe and Marian Osa. Then Patrick Elias on the power play from Nicholas Avlid and Martin Avlat. It was 6 4. Then Brendan Morrow scored. It was 6 5. And Bill Guerin scored his 20th in an empty net from Andreas Dackel and Pavel Datsyuk. 7 5 is the final score. No missed time for New Jersey's Mike Commodore. The, I remember that that is completely a, a anecdotal. <laughs> I remember when the Sens got Mike Commodore uh, to play on D, and I was watching a game, and and Dean Brown was calling the game, and he made like that uh, comment that. Uh, Mike Commodore just looks like the 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 guy that leaves, that's the last to leave a frat party. <laughs> like he had like that that hair going and everything. It was pretty funny. Anyway, I just remember that seeing Mike Commodore's name. So anyway, he's uh, not being suspended in New Jersey. All right, so we have one more day to sim there. See what's going on. And then on March 1st, we're going to be playing the Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, so it's not enough that Phoenix lost uh, Tepo Newman and now they lost Timo Solani for six weeks. Yikes. Elbow strain for him. Paul Carrier extends his point streak to 12 games. He had a goal against Phoenix in that same game. 
Uh, all right. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, cool. So the best players of the month in the league this year were Marianosa for us and Jamie McLennan in Philadelphia. But let's just remember that we completely shelled them when we played them. All right, so. All right, so we're still first in the East with 90 points. Uh, Philadelphia is second with 80. They do have two games on on, so, so that first place is not a given. Uh, we could absolutely lose it here uh, before the end of the season, that's for sure. Uh, let's take a look at what things look like in the West. So if the playoffs were to start right now, I, I would be facing the New Jersey Devils. In the West, we have Detroit, Colorado, Phoenix, and then Edmonton, Vancouver, Columbus, St. Louis, and Minnesota. Wow, yeah. Phoenix is, th is third because of their division. Kind of how, you know, Tampa Bay is third because of their division. That never really quite made sense to me, but... I still didn't mind that way of seeding teams. All right, so that was that. Now let's take a look at our stats here. All right, Joe Thornton, 78 points in 64 games. Patrick Elias, 65 in 63. Datsyuk, 55 in 65. Osa, 49 in 63. Osa's turning it around a little bit. Zdeno Shara, 48 in 65. That's pretty good. And Sheldon Surrey, 44 in 65. That's pretty good as well. So we have a lot of players that are playing pretty good. Not a lot of disappointment on that team anymore. It used to be that I was disappointed a lot. When you win, you know, 12 games a year, you're bound to have some disappointment. Uh, so the best goal scorers in the league, because they're tied uh, with 36 each, are Jagger and Kovalev. Oh, the best passer in the league is Joe Thornton with 55 assists. Oh, and Joe Thornton is third for points with 78. One behind Peter Forsberg, who's first with 79. All right, so Joe Thornton has a legit shot at finishing first in scoring. That would be the first time this happens to us. All right, folks, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, we're still doing pretty good. I'm gonna save my game so of course the trade deadlines coming I might try and be aggressive to trade Mike Dunham I would hate to lose him for nothing uh, maybe uh, be aggressive to uh, now I don't want to tr be ag too aggressive to trade roster players we went down that road before and it uh, kind of backfired so I might not do that this time but Mike Dunham is not on the team per se so him I will probably uh, seek what I can get for all right so as usual I want to thank you all for tuning in uh, if you've liked the video feel free to like subscribe comment share watch again <laughs> uh, after an hour of that that's uh, pretty much enough so uh, but I do want to thank you for being there. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.